different way. Let's talk to comedian Tracy Cashy, who's here. Really good to see you Thank this morning. Thank you. We've got to start off by saying, love the T-shirt. Got a nine-year-old, is a designer, and as moral support for my TV debut, she wanted to do this for me. This is your daughter, Autumn. Yes. Awesome. I love oh. that We're rebranding the name. We're taking it back because yeah. it actually doesn't mean what it used to mean. There is still plenty of life in me, and I fully intend to live it as best as I can. So tell us about the show and tell us about how that is helping you, I guess. Yeah. Oh, my family. God, keeping me sane. Um, yeah, I mean, cancer, yeah. I mean, there's, there's nothing funny about cancer. There really isn't. But having said that, the comedy writes itself when people come up to you, chain smoking, and tell you that the secret to beating cancer is... Stay away from cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> and that, you know, it oh, just I goes know. on from there. Be 100% positive 100% of the time. How do you do that? How does anyone do that? Yeah. So that's the kind of thing that I'm talking about. I, I was very careful in the initial stages um, not to offend anyone or upset anyone or make light of any losses. But I still felt that I didn't want to hide. I didn't want to feel ashamed, especially when a primary diagnosis turned into a secondary diagnosis, which in my case does mean, yes, officially, it's incurable and terminal, but I don't feel terminal. What I call myself is schmerminal, which is the in-between state when you are diagnosed with incurable cancer, but you're still very treatable. Okay. Because doctors and scientists are so clever. Schmerminal. I'm schmerminal. Oh, schmerminal. I'm schmerminal. Oh. Now, what I bet is, you are. What is your, just, what is your journey? And what, what is your own story? So it started on the Northern Line. Um, the Northern Line saved my life. A disgusting journey from uh, Tottenham Court Road to Finchley Central forced me into a late night shower. And there I am in the shower washing the usual bits in the usual way. Um, but I had more time than normal. I mean, my kids were two and seven at the time, so I don't normally have a long shower. But because it was so disgusting, I had a gr and I got right in there, so yeah. to speak, mm -hmm. if I can say that. Um, and I felt this lump out of nowhere. And because I was on the younger side, I, I certainly wasn't expecting it to be anything, but it was. It was fast-growing, invasive and aggressive. Um, and they went at me hammer and tong. I had a uh, double mastectomy, six months of chemotherapy, and I had the kind of hormone therapy that would turn Caitlyn Jenner back into a man within weeks. <laughs> um, that's still ongoing. Um, but I'm still here, and my secondary sisters and I, you know, we don't, we may not be survivors, but I don't want to hide. I want to, I want to tell the truth of my story. And, and the truth is, I sing, and I like to make people laugh, and I'm still here. And you know, I there's something incredibly powerful that we can understand when people almost shrink into themselves with that sort of news. You can understand that, but there's something really powerful about someone saying, hold on, I'm still here. Still here. And, and, and I'm going to make a noise. Yeah. Whatever that noise is. Yeah, yeah. And the, hopefully the funniest... Laughter. Laughter. Hopefully laughter, yeah. Laughter. The funniest <laughs> comedians are relatable. It's just talking about normal yeah. things that I you mean, can relate to, so... I'm a mum. I'm a mum, first and foremost. And uh, I had my youngest child at the age of 40. And, uh, and I, I didn't want to look at my breasts and check my breasts. It was a car crash, you know, after, after two kids. But, it's, but initially, my comedy was about raising awareness um, that, you know, 10% of women diagnosed with breast cancer are younger. Mm. Uh, so it's really important important that you get to know what's normal so that you do get to know it. If there is anything different, just get it checked. It's probably nothing, but get it checked out. So that was my initial focus, but now it's different. Now it is, okay, I have an incurable diagnosis, but I, I, I still, I'm still a creative person. So I want to talk about the myriad and diversity of diet cures that I get bombarded with oh. on a daily basis. Yeah. That is, it, it's just, it's hysterical. We're almost out of time. Oh, OK. Tell us where, where we can see you. Oh, Camden Fringe Festival, August. And just get in touch with me on Facebook or Twitter and I will tell you when I'm doing my stand-up. Fantastic. And T-shirts are going to be sold at the gig. You need they? to get them made Why up not? properly. <laughs> Thank Look, you. Really good so. to see you. Thank, Thank you. you very much.